What's up guys, it's Village Cap Talks here with another gay book review. So I previously did one of these gay book review videos on the book The Velvet Rage, if you wanna check that out. I was just doing that as a one-time thing, but the responses and the engagement on that video were pretty positive and uh, people seem to like it. So I thought, let me do another one. And this one is going to be on the book Running With Scissors. It's not a book that revolves around being gay, but the uh, the writer and the and the the main character, all the same because it's an autobiography. There are stories in the book that are rooted in his experience as kind of like a coming of age story of a young gay boy. It's basically about this guy Augustine Burroughs growing up in Massachusetts and this totally wacky, crazy, eccentric, dysfunctional upbringing that he had. I don't want to give too much away, but to give you sort of the basic plot, he gets sent away, true story, he gets sent away to his psychiatrist. He basically gets signed off by his mom so that his psychiatrist, her psychiatrist, can be his legal guardian. And so, can you just imagine that, like how nuts that is? As, as a little kid, you just get sent off to live with a total stranger who thinks it's best for you to live with him and his family. And of course, the irony is that the childhood, the upbringing he ended up having was probably more dysfunctional living with the psychiatrist and his family than it would have been with his mother. Or who knows? Who knows what would have happened? But basically, the book goes through this chain of events of just a totally dysfunctional life and in some ways it's totally tragic but it's also so crazy and he's such a great writer that it's really funny and in some points of the book it's very lighthearted, and and you feel like this is your friend telling you his nutty stories from childhood like around a campfire or something i would definitely recommend the book it's one of my favorite books that i've ever read and when it comes to the the gay themes of the book the reason why I wanted to talk about this book and why I feel like it's relevant to this channel is that the little anecdotes he gives on a childhood, an upbringing of being gay, were super relatable. Like my, my childhood was not tragic or dysfunctional the way that his was, and yet I could totally relate to these little gems that he would throw in. For example, the book starts with him talking about basically he was this very precocious child, this very particular child, you know, always very well coiffed and, and always around adults and just very mature, very intelligent. And he had his own little idiosyncrasies. And I think a lot of gay men relate to that, that they grow up being very unique as children. They're not like other kids. Like my older brothers were always playing sports. They were uh you know playing playing dirty outside or whatever and i was indoors writing little like stories for myself and i don't know doing other creative little projects and i, I lived in my own little universe and i think that's a very difficult thing to totally explain eloquently it's more like you have to have experienced that to understand and he completely evoked that sense of of the gay child who lives in his own universe and feels safe in it, but at the same time, it feels completely vulnerable. And you get the sense that his whole upbringing was basically like, and I think this is why he called it running with scissors. It's like there's landmines everywhere and he's just carefully walking about, but he has no idea when the, the next one will, you know, deactivate. And I think that that is so relatable for, and so poignant for people who grow up gay and are aware that they're gay growing up and you're like You feel kind of helpless and and like you're your own Sort of shield and armor and, and protector at least that's how I felt so It's just really interesting how somebody could have such a different life and yet It resonated with me completely and then you know, there's an anecdote about and I don't want to give too much away but he ends up dating a much older guy who is also being seen by the psychiatrist that he lives with. And that also resonated with me because a lot of us, I mean, I've made a video about it. A lot of us, when we're young and gay and aware that we're gay and whatever, we look for somebody almost like paternal who can lead us through this, this process and this, and this 
identity. And, you know, I walk around West Hollywood all the time and I see young guys with much older men and they seem to be a couple and they seem to be happy. So sometimes it must work out, but it's also a common phenomenon, which is what happened in my case, what happens in the author's case, that you think you're associating yourself with somebody who's looking out for you and then the intentions aren't what you thought they were. Again, it felt so relatable to put your trust in another gay man because you're finally like, oh, I met somebody who I can feel comfortable around and then to have that feeling of safety taken away from you. So anyway, my point is, if you're gay, I think you will find value in this book. And if nothing else, it's well written, it's very entertaining, and it's one of those life stories that I think everybody should hear. There's so many gems in the story, whether you're gay or not. So that's my take on this book. Curious if you guys have read it, and if you haven't, you definitely should.